The Cannot Grant is going to have a huge impact. This Cannot Global Challenges Award is going to first enable a bunch of researchers from U of T working in different disciplines to come together and work on one really important problem together. It's also going to allow us to bring the world's leaders from across the globe to Toronto uh, for a really exciting symposium uh, on this topic. It's also going to equip uh, our graduate students, our postdoctoral researchers, uh, to do collaborative research. And in fact, it's going to bring a new generation of uh, postdoctoral fellows called the, the Connaught Global Scholars into this team to link it together, cut across traditional disciplinary boundaries, and solve some of these really important problems. Okay. Well, the, you know, the thing that, that comes behind this research program is the fact that there's been such incredible excitement in the field of photobiology or quantum biology. So this is that uh, scientists, including world-class leaders at U of T, have figured out uh, increasingly how plants actually are so successful in photosynthesis and energy capture. And then there's a community of uh, engineers and applied science researchers who, of course, are interested in solving some of the world's most important sustainability challenges. Uh, such as how do we capture the sun's energy, turn it into electricity, or to stored fuel most efficiently. This grant is going to enable us to come together and to leverage insights from nature, from the field of photobiology and quantum biology, and apply those insights in order to make better devices through engineering. Coming up with ways to meet our energy needs in a sustainable fashion is just a crucial societal, global, economic, environmental problem. And uh, what's reassuring once you dive deep into the field is the recognition that the sun is this incredibly vast resource. Uh, enough energy from the sun reaches the earth in an hour to meet our energy needs uh, across the earth for an entire year. The problem is not a, uh, you know, a lack of abundance of this remarkable resource. Uh, and it's not that it's not possible to build a solar technology that's efficient. Uh, nature proves to us that we can have efficient and very cost-effective and very environmentally friendly solar capturing technologies. So what remains is, is a, uh, a challenge for a group to get together and to solve this deeply interesting challenge at the interface of science and engineering. The goal of the program will be to uh, leverage insights from nature in the field of quantum biology and photobiology and take these to make solar cells and light emitting diodes that are more efficient. And do so in a fashion where the solar cells are very low in cost to manufacture, where they're very robust. Uh, and similarly, where the lighting technologies are very efficient, uh, very flexible, conformable, produce the kinds of uh, color palettes that we're expecting from our lighting technologies. So ultimately, it will be to transform uh, some of the most exciting insights from science and turn them into innovations that lead to more efficient, energy-relevant devices. So the Connaught Global Challenge Symposium is going to get, uh, bring together researchers from you know, all the leading places in the world, both industry and also academia. Uh, our uh, Cannot Distinguished Fellow will be Professor uh, Richard Friend, Sir Richard Friend from Cambridge, uh, and, the, uh, and the seminar speakers will be selected from the leading, uh, leading research groups around the world. Uh, and so it will be, be groups from the top schools, and, and they will be both people coming from the fundamental science of photobiology and, and quantum biology, but also people working on new materials, new chemistry strategies to make new classes of materials that can lead to more efficient devices, and then also people really at the, at the, the leadership position within the field of device engineering uh, for solar and also for uh, light emitting devices. The U of T team is really a remarkable collection of researchers um, and, and we span all of the key aspects of, of this area. So starting with the uh, fundamental insights into the field of quantum biology is Professor Greg Scholes, who's in the Department of Chemistry, uh, really a renowned uh, figure in this fast-moving, very exciting field. Uh, we also have experts in the development of uh, new classes of materials, a, really the field of materials chemistry and chemical synthesis. There, Professor Dwight Sephiros has done incredibly important work uh, on making new classes of molecules that will be relevant to solar cells. 
and Professor Eugenia Kumacheva uh, is in, it re just recently made a university professor at U of T. Uh, will be uh, leading the charge on kind of the development of new materials chemistry, new materials processing strategies for solar cells. Uh, on the engineering side, uh, within the Department of Mechanical Engineering, we have uh, Professor Dave Sinton, who has done some incredibly exciting work on making uh, solar fuels and enhancing the production, uh, the efficiency of the production of solar fuels using concepts from the field of photonics. Uh, also in engineering, we have Professor Z.H. Liu, who's in material science and engineering within the faculty, uh, who's done some very important work in the past on making more and more efficient light emitting diodes through advances in material science, and he'll continue that thrust within the context of this project. And then within electrical and computer engineering, uh, there's myself. I work on solar cells that are made using uh, paintable materials called colloidal quantum dots, and uh, my distinguished colleague, Professor Nazir Karani. Uh, who has been at the forefront of silicon solar technology for a number of years now. And so the Connaught Fund, and through it, uh, the Connaught Global Challenge is really about uh, the University of Toronto investing in this virtuous cycle, uh, harvesting the fruits of some, some of the important science that happened at the university decades past, uh, that led to transformative technologies, that led to commercialization, that led to being able to fund uh, the Connaught overall system, uh, and reinvesting those benefits in the ongoing virtuous cycle of upstream science being transformed into innovation and commercialization.